So this is a screencast illustrating how to create a digital book trailer through the website Animoto. So we're on our wiki on chapter 5 right now. And we're going to click on Animoto link, which we see right over here. Now once we get to this page, it's a very easy website to use and very fun for your students. Um, we have two options here. We have sign up and log in. We already have created an account. It's very easy to create. You just follow the directions, enter your email address, and um, we're going to log in now. Okay, so this is the dashboard for Amoto, and it lists the current projects you're working on, or any the recent videos, an option to upgrade, and on the left over here is an option to see all your videos underneath my videos, your account information, and if you click this icon, it will take you directly back to the dashboard. But right now, we're going to go create a video. So we go up here, and then we have to choose a background style. Now, those are the featured ones up there and they have recommended categories. So we're looking through classroom and for this video we're going to choose documentary. Now this is a good site because it will tell you up here exactly how long your video will be. It gives you background music already that comes with the style. You can insert more music if you need to underneath here. And these boxes over here are where you can insert text and video, uh, videos, photos, what have you. How you do that is you just click here, and there's how you add photos and videos. Here's how you add text. You can do the same thing if you scroll over to the left here. Here is how you title your video. Now the customize style and add logo, those are pro features, so you have to buy an account to do that. However, you can add text here, add a picture, and we're going to start adding some things, and we're going to show you the end result. So for this instance, we chose the book Harry Potter, and um, like Zach just showed you, we inserted these multiple photos through the upload option, and we added text here. So one of the cool things that you can do here is you can actually rearrange the order of things. So my two text boxes are at the end, however one of them is going to go to the beginning. So I'm just going to click it and drag it over here and now it's all we have to start. So we're going to set up the preview. It takes a few seconds to load, so we're going to spare you that. So after we press the preview video button, this is the screen that comes up. It takes a little while to upload, so just be a little bit patient. Um, this is a great uh, product to do with your students because it gives them um, the chance to be creative and get involved in the story and just generally do something kind of cool. And so, this is our final video. Yeah. And one mo the one thing I will say is there will be a watermark on here. You cannot get rid of that unless you go pro. But you don't necessarily need to go pro to enjoy this product. So, we hope you enjoyed this instructional video and that you have a chance to use this cool product in your classrooms. Thank you.